Hey, what's up YouTube? This your girl Deidre here with another episode video for you guys. And today we're on episode 19. Honestly, and being for real, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous to do this one because like finally, somebody, fi somebody figured out who she is, but it's by a guard though. I could have sworn like it was going to be either Carlos or Alicia that was going to be like, aha, but no. It's, it's it's him and I'm I'm scared for our girl man like I was hesitant to even do this very hesitant to do this um episode because damn when we left off at they were in bed just lying down about the you know getting in and whatnot even though he figured it out from Alicia well not from Alicia but like he just figured it out oh I'm I'm nervous <sighs> okay let me just put my damn big girl draws on and just really play this because who knows maybe she can wiggle her way out of it convince him that no i'm not ruby rose i don't know <laughs> i don't know it makes me nervous <laughs> let me stop hesitating and just play why in bed out of all places? Like, if he figured it out, I, I honestly would have said something when we was in the limo, not when we already in bed and shit. Like, oh, and she falls. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. Officer Rose, you've had, you have a lot of explaining to do. Oh, man. How did you figure it out? At least you aren't denying the fact that you've been impersonating a, as Deidre Edge. Well, okay. Why would I try to lie to you when I've been caught? You've been lying to me for over five months. Yes, I have been lying to you. Oh, wow. Okay. Yo, <laughs> mad respect, man. I gotta give her respect. In a situation like that, she got chest out like, you know what? Yeah. That's what the fuck I've been doing. Okay. You caught me. Fuck it. Ugh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Shoot. I guess I shoot. I guess I can't blame her. I'll be the same way, too. Why, Deidre? Oh, man. Why, Ruby? Wow. I did oh, my God. His face. <laughs> no. His face. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. When he called me Deidre, it pained my heart. I looked into his eyes and I could tell he's hurt. Finding out I'm not the woman he thought I was must be a shock to him. I don't know how I'm going to explain myself because I know what's going to happen what's going to happen to me. Well get it over with, Elgardo. Kill me. Wow. Oh, gosh. I said kill me. And killing you would be too easy. Now what? What now? Don't you dare walk away from me. What's going to happen now? Why the fuck are you angry at me? You're the one who was pretending to be someone else. You're nothing but a pussy, Garcia. You won't touch me because I'm a police officer. Okay, he just dragged her somewhere. Get off me! Where, where are they? This is like a basement dungeon thing? Edgardo, what are you doing? Welcome to your new home, babe. I should have kept you in the cell when you first arrived. Instead, I let you worm your way into my family and, and endanger them. I'd rather you kill me. Please don't make me stay here. Why would I do anything for you when you've been trying to get me locked up? That was before I got to know you. I care about you now. Yeah, there's no way he would believe that. Because in his position, I wouldn't believe you. Your survival tactics are going to work on me. Sadly, that's not a survival tactic. No, I can't live down here forever.
Did Deidre make all your wildest dreams come true? Yes. Yes, she did. The sneaky bitch. <laughs> I knew you two had a thing for each other. Where is she now? I've I've worn her out. She's sleeping. I spent one of I I sent one of my men to guard to guard the cells. Don't go down there. Where are you going? Alicia's. I don't remember fucking her, so I want to test the waters. Don't be stupid, boss. You can't do it to Deidre. She cares about you. Ugh. Yeah, I know. He doesn't know. <laughs> it's sad, but... Eh. Well, there it is with that, I guess. I cried myself to sleep. I was all alone. Nobody was going to save me. What was I thinking when I decided to go undercover? Edgardo is a smart man. I should have thought about why he hasn't been locked up yet. Of course he was going to figure out who I was. Now I'm going to die the same way as my husband. Why did he have to find out who I was? I hate to admit it, but I've been enjoying my time with him. I always felt like something was missing from my life. When I, when I came to Edgardo's life, I felt complete. Well, there it is with that. Wake up. One more minute. I forgot where I was. So yeah, right. Hey. If I'm staying down here forever, the least you could do is bring some of my clothes down. I owe you absolutely nothing. Please, Ergardo, I can't wear my underwear forever. We're leaving. Somewhere no one will find you. I guess so. Are you going to kill me? In time. When I find out everything I need to know. Alright. You won't get away with it. They'll find out. Not where we're going. You don't understand. They have been tracking me. Exactly. What? Take it out so they won't find me. I'll take it out so they won't find me is this another one of your stunts <sighs> no why are you doing this why are you letting me get away with murdering you i don't know agardo so you telling me that you let them plant a device on you so you could let me remove it do you think i'm stupid no of course not well, you did believe I was someone else for much. <laughs> no, that's a wrong thing to say. Come on. No, of course not. The night you saw me with one of your employees was the night I found out they planted two devices at the at the back of my neck. The bastard police planted it in me without my permission. Your employee has been watching over me without me knowing. He's an undercover police officer. He's next after you, of course. Get out of here now. Well, turn around so I can rip the devices out of you. Be gentle, I hate pain. Please be gentle, I hate pain. Get used to it, love, because when I'm done with you, turn the fuck around. That's going to be hurtful. She flinches at my touch. I could feel her body trembling. She's trying to be strong by putting a brave face on, but I could read her like a book. She's terrified of me. She knows what I'm capable of. She knows what I do to traitors. I have no other choice but to kill her. Who was she? Who was who? I could smell her cheap perfume off you. You mean you could smell their cheap perfumes off me? Just take the stupid devices out of me and get this over and done with. Did you really think you were enough for me? What's that? I gaffed, I gaffed it just to get you into bed and I got exactly what I wanted. Kick them, kick them in the crotch. You have nothing else to say to him. I have nothing else to say to him. 
I got nothing else to say. Are you going to say something? Are you going to say anything, Ruby? I have nothing else to say to you. I finally found a way to shut you up. Take the damn devices out, Elgardo. I said L, let me Ed. Get dressed. It's going to be a long ride. Yeah, yeah. You do feel some type of way. He does. Oh, if I was in her position, I would just feel so damn defeated. <sighs> my life is a mess right now. How am I going to convince Edgardo to spare my life when I kept giving him attitude? It's hard not to because every time I see his face, I want to punch it. But the other part of me is aching. I miss how we were. I wish he had never found out who I was. I knew I didn't have a leg to stand on. I saw what Edgardo has done to traitors, and I'm no different. I was I was doing all of this for my husband. It's my own fault for giving my heart to a sh gangster. The gangster that killed my husband. I deserve what's coming my way. My, hus my husband would be so disappointed in me. I'm disappointed in myself. I just hope when the time comes, he kill he kills me instant. I don't think I'd be able to go through any more pain. I should get ready. Don't even know what to even say about that. Uh, Edgardo's gray jumper, navy ripped jeans, and gray runners. Edgardo's leather jacket. Um green twisted tongue i mean this is a cute outfit but like honestly i will go with the jumper i can't believe you call it a jumper i guess this would do who cares what i die in uh no your hair's perfect come here ruby this is weird why are you wearing my jumper it's the warmest thing in my wardrobe. If anyone tries to talk to you on our way out, you tell them that we are going on a break together and make it believable. I don't want anyone getting suspicious. Is that understood? You obviously haven't told them who I really am. Of course I haven't, because they would kill you before I, I get the chance. Especially my father. He thought he could trust you with his son. He can. I love Javar so much. Just like you love Taylor. That's not fair, Garcia. I know I've been I know I've been living a lie for the past five months, but my love for Taylor and Javar is real. I'm thankful that she can't see you now. She will be disgusted with you. That was hurtful. <laughs> I guess I don't blame him for saying that. That is hurtful. Her eyes are red from crying. Her dark eyelashes beamed heavy with tears. Her lips trembled and her shoulders heaved with emotion. My words must have really hurt her. Looking at her made me realize that she has cared about Javar and Taylor. She was she was only after, she was only ever after me. The relationships she built over the last five months were real. Are you ready to go? Yes. Well, okay. Where are you going? You've a lot of bag. You got you've you've got a, you got a lot of bags packed at the door. Deidre and I need some alone time. Isn't that right, baby? Give an Oscar-winning performance. Don't make it sound believable. Still a performance. This place is too crowded, and since Edgardo can't keep his hands off me, we need some time alone. I can't wait to be able to do I can't be able, I can't wait to be able to do do you anywhere and everywhere. <laughs> wow. Well, I don't believe you. <laughs> that guard <old> plus three. <laughs> Maybe wait until you get to your destination. <laughs> sorry, Juan, for sorry, Juan, for getting carried away. <laughs> don't apologize. I'm jealous. 
<laughs> Carlos is in charge while I'm away. Let's go, Deidre. Uh-huh. Uh, terrible. I'm sure the pigs you work with has been tracking my other car. This car will have to do for now. All right. You are a really good actress. You have everyone eating out of the palm of your hand. You wanted me to make it believable, so I did. I can't win with you. I feel ridiculous for falling into your trap. You made everyone believe your lies. My lies were for a good purpose. I'm not a bad person. I don't want to hear your noise for the rest of the ride. Wow, noise though? You're the one talking to me. This sad. <sighs> Are we nearly there yet? I'm hungry and I need to pee. Very classy. I can't help it. I am human. Keep it to yourself the next time. Whatever. We arrive. We arrive in the next hour, so hold it. In an hour? Where are they now? I wonder why he's doing all this. Ew. It looks nicer from the outside. What the cabin looks like is the least of your problems. Can I use the toilet? Not until I tell you the rules. You do not leave the cabin without my permission. You stay by my side for the whole duration of being here. So if you need to pee, shower, eat, or whatever whatever women do, I will be in the same room as you. Understood? Ugh, whatever. You want to be a creep about shit, then fuck it. I could care less. Come and watch me piss. I'll be extra for a second. So you're going to watch me poop. Don't be so ridiculous, Ruby. You're fine with watching me shower, though. Look, depending on how long it takes to get the truth out of you, I'm going to need something to look at during my time here. So yes, I I will watch you while you shower. Not going to happen, pervert. My rules are final. If you want to break them, then you'll be punished. Mm. I'm not scared. How are you going to punish me, Mr. Garcia? What is wrong with you? Why do you why do you get to watch me shower and I get nothing out of it? Because, Ruby, you are my captive. I'm going to dry up. Let me show you the bathroom. Whatever. Are you hungry? No. You haven't ate since last night. I'd rather just go to bed. I advise you to start working with me, not against me. I'm not hungry, Edgardo. I'm not trying to work against you. Fine, we'll we'll sleep because you have a long day ahead of you tomorrow. Ugh, what is he? I wonder why. I, I don't know. I don't know what to even say. <sighs> did you bring me anything to wear to bed? He <laughs> Like he did. Yeah, right. I forgot. Only brought you day clothes. Well, I guess you're sleeping in that. I bet your bedroom is a lot nicer than this. Did you think I'm stupid? We're sharing a bed. I'm not going to let you wander. I don't want to share a bed with you. Touch. Tough. We've shared a bed before, so what's the difference now? Give me a break. Ugh. Oh, give me a break. I say no more. The difference is I'm your captive now. Strip. No chance, asshole. You're hardly going to sleep in your clothes. <sighs> I would. Leave the room while I change. I saw you undressed before, babe. Leave the room, Edgardo. You've got one minute. Sheesh. For the first time ever, I felt awkward waiting for Edgardo to arrive back into the room. I didn't want him to see me in my underwear. He hates me. He wants me dead. 
And here I am wearing nothing but red lace underwear. A few days ago, I knew it would drive him mad, but now he looks at me in disgust. Red underwear and her beautiful long black hair. Snap out of it, Ricardo. That ship has sailed. Get into bed. Stop telling me what to do. Do as he says. <sighs> Man. Stop telling me what to do. God, watch yourself, Ruby, because I'll throw you over my lap and spank you. I'd like to see you try. Well, there goes that. <laughs> they are going to stare off now? <laughs> I'll give you one more chance to do as you're told. Sheesh. Whatever. This is weird. Good night. Don't try anything stupid. Whatever. I don't know if I'll be able to look at him. I waited until he fell asleep. I couldn't be in the same bed as the man that wanted me dead. What was there to do? She didn't leave. She's still there. There's just no way that she could. <laughs> wow. I wonder why he did all that for. Why'd you even do it? I guess I can't blame her for that one. I'll probably just sleep on the floor too. How did I end up back in the bed? I couldn't let you sleep on the cold floor. Why do you even care? Where are the clothes you bought me? I'll get them after you eat. I wouldn't even have an appetite for anything. Oh, wow. I can't eat that food. It's gone off. Sit, Ruby. We have a lot to discuss. My eyes were drawn to the items beside the rotten food. Well... Wow, that's a beautiful gun. <laughs> Today was the day he was going to kill me. I guess so. I sat down without a fight. Please don't make me eat that food. It looks like it's been gone off for months. Gone off, huh? That has to be like some other country stuff. Because we say gone bad. So gone off? Huh. I haven't been here in months. Yeah, I see that. I'll go food shopping later, I guess for you. Thank goodness. I want to know everything, Ruby. Well, I guess you got no choice. The truth will result in a quick death. Lie to me and I'll make sure you feel everything. Well, why did you go undercover to get me bagged up? As you know, I'm a police officer. I've been one for seven years now. You've been causing quite a stir in America, especially the men you hire to sell your drugs. Innocent people die because of you. I don't know how many times I've said this. Innocent people never die until under my control. Yes, they do. I've witnessed it every day. And it's all because of the pure of the pure drug you created. Your men your men kill innocent people when they can't pay up. Think about it, Ruby. Are those people really innocent if they are taking drugs? They can't help it. They're addicted. And it's all because of you. I never force anyone to use my drug. You've, you've bought your disgusting product into America. I've seen people die for your product. I've seen people kill for your product. And I'm left to clean up your mess. You've still not answered my question. Why did you go undercover? To stop you once and for all. To stop all the killings and all the overdoses. To get, to get your product off the market. Even if you had succeeded to get me backed up, I would still live on and so would my product. Now I'm going to ask you again. Why did you go undercover? Huh, he asked again. 
Most people would have took that answer, but he's asking again. Interesting. Over five years ago. All right. Ooh, flashback. One night, I was chasing one of your drug dealers down. I chased him through neighborhoods, run down alleyways. I was getting closer every, every time when I finally caught up to him. Ooh, he's ugly. Stay right there. <laughs> what did he do? He threw acid over my arm. Damn, acid though? I had to get this tattoo to cover the burn marks. Since that night, I've been uncomfortable in my own body. And it's all because of you. I'm sorry that one of my one of my workers done that to you. But you can't blame me for his mistake. Yes, I can. And that's why I wanted you locked up so you couldn't harm anyone anybody else. What did he look like? Dark golden skin, messy burnet hair, slumpy hazel eyes, and he had a beard. His face has never left my mind. What are you doing? I want you to kill Jose Francisco, and I want it done immediately. What in the hell? Consider him dead. Wow, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so many twists and turns. I can't take it. What? <laughs> this man, this man still cares about me. Because <laughs> why give a damn? Oh my God, I'm shook. Why did you kill him? I can't have a I can't have a man like him working for me. My men have to be professional, and he is a liability. Do you care about what he has done to me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Why? When are you going to take my life? I'm dropping the conversation. What was what was your tactic to get me arrested? I needed you to trust me, which I've succeeded. Once you trusted me, my next step was to make you fall in love with me. Well, I you it just sounds like it's that I can't. This 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 stings. This honestly stings so badly. It stings. Okay. Oh, uh, what? Yeah, see, it's awful. Then I make you tell me everything. Get up. What? Get up. Of course, that would piss him off, man. Well, there it go. Dang. And they're going to end it right there. Oh. Uh, See, just saying that is hurtful, and I totally get it. I get it, I get it, I get it. Oh my god, no. These cliffhangers, they're killing me. <sighs> but since since this is a cliffhanger, I don't think that he would do it, because she still didn't say everything. But I guess we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, slap that like button. On oh, while you're at it, you might as well slap that subscribe button. So you see more of me and all this episode drama. What's going to happen to Ruby now? <laughs> Till next time, people. Bye. Stay safe. Wash your hands and stay away from crowds if you're not trying to get sick. Bye.